God, we thank you, God, for your spirit, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you saved us. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You're worthy, Lord. You're worthy, Lord. Come on, let's lift up the name of the Lord. Let's lift him up. Hallelujah. Come on, let's lift him up. Hallelujah. Lift him up. Hallelujah. Open your mouth. Open your hearts. Lift him up in the name. Hallelujah. Come on. Open him up. Hallelujah. Open up. Open up. Open up. Hallelujah. Let him fill you. Hallelujah. Let him anoint you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Let him anoint you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Father, we honor you. Father, we honor you. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Healing is our portion today. Hallelujah. Deliverance is our portion today. Guidance is our portion today. Hallelujah. Hear our cry, Lord. Hear our cry, Lord. Hear our cry, Lord. From the depths of our heart, Lord. From the depths of our soul, God. From the depths of our spirit, God. Hear our cry, Lord. Hear our cry, Lord. Hear our cry, Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody needs you, Lord. There's somebody needs you today, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Say that the Lord rebuke you. Hallelujah. Say that the Lord rebuke you. Every demonic say that the Lord rebuke you. Every thought of doubt, the Lord rebuke you. Every bad spirit, the Lord rebuke you. Every demonic thought, the Lord rebuke you. Every infirmity, the Lord rebuke you. Hallelujah. The Lord rebuke you today. In the name of the Lord Yeshua Hamashiach. The Lord rebuke you in the name of the Lord Jesus. We come in authority. We come in power. Hallelujah in the name of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We love you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Hallelujah, God. You know our needs, God. You know our desires, oh God. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we bless you. You didn't have to do it, but you did. Father, you didn't have to do it, but you did, Lord. The enemy tried to kill somebody this week. But God, you protected us, oh God. No weapon formed against us shall be able to prosper. And this is the prayer of the righteous. No weapon, hallelujah. No weapon formed against us shall be able to prosper. And this is the inheritance of the righteous. Hallelujah, Father, we thank you, Lord, for being our protector, Lord. Being our provider, Lord. Being our healer, Lord. You sent your word and heal them, God. And to deliver them. Deliver them. Deliver them from all their destructions. Hallelujah. Deliver them. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Father, deliver us, oh God. If my people, if my people, if my people, if my people which are called by my name, but I'm with themselves and pray. Seek my face. Turn from their wicked ways. Then shall you hear from heaven. Then shall he heal your sins. Hallelujah, God. Heal us through the word today, God. Heal us through the word today. Heal us through the word today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, put fire in our pastor's mouth today. Put fire in our pastor's mouth today. Purifying fire, Lord. Hallelujah, in the mighty name of the Lord, Yeshua HaMashiach. Father, we bless you. Father, we ask you to answer our prayer today. See our desires, Lord. Help our desires to be your desires and your heart to be our heart. God bless everyone that is sound in my voice. Hallelujah, God bless them, God. Not our will, Lord, but thine will be done. Not our will, Lord, but thine will be done. Let it be like fire shut up in our bones. In the name of the Lord, Yeshua HaMashiach. Father, I thank you. Fathers, our praise to you come. As they open their mouth, as they open their lips, help them to minister unto us, O oh God. Let there be a praise in our heart, a praise in our feet, a praise in our hands, a praise in our mouth. Come on and lift up to Jesus. Come on and clap your hands. Come on and give God praise. Come on and give God praise. Come on, it's all right. It's all right. Come on. I promise you, it's all right. Some of you need a good praise. Some of you need a good worship. Some of you need a good lifting up. Some of you need to yell. Some of you need to scream. Some of you need to let it loose. Let
let it go. Let God come in. Let God work it out. Let God work it through. Come on, let God do it. Hallelujah. Open up, open up. Hallelujah. Holy be to God. Hallelujah. 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 I promise you it's all right to let God have it. I promise you to let God have it. I promise you it's okay to let God have your tears. To let God turn your tears of sorrow into tears of joy. I promise you it's all right. Hallelujah. Come on, hug somebody. Hug somebody and tell them it's all right. It's all right. Come on. It's all right. Hug your neighbor and tell them it's all right. Hallelujah. It's all right. I'm here for you. I'm here for you. Come on, hug somebody. I'm here for you. Hallelujah. I'm here for you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Come on, tell him I'm here for you. I'm here for you. Glory be to God. Come on, let's keep on praising. Hallelujah. Praise him. Hallelujah. 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 I have one question. Do you? Do you have something to praise God for? Yes, yes. Let me ask this side. Do you have something to praise God for? Well, I want you to think about, now this is personal. I want you to think about that time when you know if it wasn't for God, you couldn't turn to your mama, you couldn't turn to your daddy, you couldn't turn to your friend. The only one you could turn to was Jesus. And he brought you through. I want you to think about that time. And I want you to open up your mouth and give God a great big praise. Give God a great big thank you. Give God a great big Lord, I thank you. Lord, I'm so thankful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, because I know. I said, I know that, I know that, I know that if it wasn't for you on my side, I wouldn't be here today. Do I have a witness out there that knows this? That if it wasn't for God on your side, you wouldn't be here today. So today, we're not going to talk about all of the struggles. We're not going to talk about the trials. We're not going to talk about the hard times. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, hallelujah, my soul cries out. I thank God for saving me. Hallelujah. Come on, give God the praise. Put those hands together because he's an awesome God. I said, our God is awesome. Hallelujah. And he inhabits the praises of his people. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on, if you have hands, I need you to put them together. Come on, if you can move, come on, move, come on. Move from side to side, do something.
Praise. Come on, put those hands together. Let's give God the praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's worthy. Hallelujah. He's worthy of your praise. I said, your God is worthy of your praise. Hallelujah. Come on up, Sister Lynette. Hallelujah.
Come on, can you think about his glory today? We want his glory to fall down in this place. Hallelujah. We need you to open up your hearts, open your minds, allow his presence to take over you, take over your heart, take over your mind. We want you to arise. Hallelujah. We need you to be blessed today, God. We're giving you all of our praise. Big glory, big glory, big glory. We do. We want your presence to fill up this place. Come on, so arise. No music, so arise. So arise to your glory and be blessed by our praise as we go. You 
ought to praise him. You ought to worship him. You ought to worship him. You ought to worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Oh, 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 We want you to rain down on us, rain down on us, rain down on us, rain, 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 rain. to be made known in this place. We need healing. We need deliverance. We need to be set free. Yes, we do. Oh! But we realize it's a privilege and an honor to worship at your throne to be called into your presence your own holy 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 oh so holy we bow down before your presence you are holy oh so holy what a privilege To worship at 
your throne to be called your presence as your own. There is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. Whoa, I can search throughout eternity, Lord, and find there is none 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 and find there I love you, Lord, today because you care for me in such a special way. That's why I praise you. I lift you up and I magnify your name. That's why my heart is filled with praise. Come on, praise him. I love you. I love you. Yes, I do. Stand up if you can. There's somebody that's not in the service this morning, Sister Devin Wells. Sister, hey, hallelujah. Sister Devin Wells went back into the hospital because of the damage that her cancer did while it was on her liver. Uh, her liver's not functioning, and there's a bunch of toxins in her body. Hallelujah. And she's not doing too well in the physical realm. In the spirit realm, she's just quite fine. But I just want us, as we're in this place of prayer, as we're in this place of consecration, I want us, can we collectively pray for her? Can we do that, Sister Devin? 
Come on, let's let's start calling her name out. Come on, let's call her name. Father, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We honor you because we could come with confidence this morning. We could come before a throne called grace this morning, oh God. Hallelujah. We humbly submit ourselves to you. Hallelujah. Thanking you for an opportunity to stand in the gap for Sister Devin Wells, oh Lord. Hallelujah. Father, right now, hallelujah, as a church, as your church, as your body, as people that believe that you're still a healer, that you're still a miracle worker, that you're still a deliverer. Hallelujah that you could give grace that's sufficient oh god uh, father we don't know your full will but we do know that you were wounded for our transgressions we know that you were bruised for our iniquities we know that the chastisement of our peace was upon you and with your stripes we were healed father we understand hallelujah that while you walk this earth hallelujah oh god people were healed and delivered and set free oh god uh, you are the same today hallelujah you are the same yesterday hallelujah you are the same forevermore oh god hallelujah father we call out her name, Devin Wells, hallelujah. Father, we ask that you would stretch your hand, oh God, forth down to MUSC, hallelujah, and touch her now, oh God, from the crown of her head, hallelujah, to the soles of her feet, oh Lord. Father, with you, nothing is impossible. We stir up our faith, hallelujah. We believe what you said is yes and amen, hallelujah. Oh God, hallelujah. We thank you for the victory this morning, hallelujah. We come together, we touch and agree, we count hallelujah that will done hallelujah in the mighty name of jesus christ and everybody give god a shout of praise everybody give god a shout of praise everybody give god a shout of praise hallelujah 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 to the king hallelujah to the lord Hallelujah to our God. Hallelujah to the Alpha. Hallelujah to the Omega. Hallelujah to the beginning. Hallelujah to the ending. Hallelujah to the first. Hallelujah to the last. Hallelujah to the bright and morning star. Hallelujah to our deliverer. Hallelujah to our savior. Hallelujah to our redeemer. Hallelujah to our way maker. Lord, we praise you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you for every miracle, thank you for every breakthrough, thank you, oh God, for every touch this morning, thank you. Oh yeah, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We pray over marriages, husbands and wives and their families oh god that you would begin hallelujah to mend the broken hearts oh god hallelujah let no man put them asunder hallelujah come hallelujah and fight for the marriage this morning oh god oh god we come hallelujah against the spirit that would destroy marriages oh god in the mighty name of jesus christ we thank you for that husband that father hallelujah that professional hallelujah that man of god your sons oh god for the anointing of the life to walk in the roles that you've given them oh god father we thank you for the woman we thank you for that wife we thank you for that mother. We thank you for that daughter. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, grace her with strength. Uh, grace her with strength. Uh, grace her with strength. Grace them with strength this morning, oh God. Bless our children. Bless our children as we raise them up, as we train them up in the way of righteousness. That they would never depart from this way hallelujah oh god hallelujah oh put a desire in the hearts of our children to hunger for you to thirst for you to desire you oh god in the mighty name of jesus we petition you today lord as parents oh god that you would even use our children beyond how you've used us oh god that you would begin to stir up in them hallelujah every good and perfect gift that you placed us on the inside of them oh god that you would draw them close to thee Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. That's it. Be healed. Hallelujah. That's it. Be whole. Hallelujah. The Lord our God make you whole this morning. Hallelujah. Walk the candlestick this morning, oh God. We belong to you. This building belongs to you. We are your tabernacle. We are your temples, oh God. Somebody needs a touch from you, oh God. Thank you for the touch. Thank you for keeping him. Hallelujah. Thank you for ordaining him. Hallelujah. Thank you for consecrating him, oh God. Thank you for anointing him. Hallelujah. Thank you for watching him. Hallelujah. Thank you for guiding him. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Oh God, even now, Lord. Hey, hallelujah. Bless him now. Hallelujah. With strength. Hallelujah. Hey, God. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus the Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. 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 Hallelujah. Hey, yes, God. Hallelujah. Right now, Lord. Hallelujah. Right now. Right now. You right now. Hallelujah. God said, don't look at your past. Look at your future. Hallelujah. Don't look at how people looked at you. Hallelujah. Look at how your father looks at you. Hallelujah. You are his daughter. Hallelujah. You are set aside. Hallelujah. You are blessed for a time like this, Tia. In the mighty name of Jesus, Tia. You are his. Hallelujah. That he is yours. Hallelujah. You are his. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God, trailblazing man of God, hallelujah, trailblazing man of God in marriage, hallelujah. Oh, be thou an example to the believer in word and conversation, uh, in purity, hallelujah, in thy walk, hallelujah, in your worship, hallelujah, in your prayer life, uh, in your devotional life. Uh, be thou an example, hallelujah, to the believers, hallelujah. Yeah, I release the anointing, hallelujah. For great, for great, for great. The ability to discern, the ability to see and discern and shift the atmosphere with your gifts. Hallelujah. Hey, it's more than singing. The ability to shift the atmosphere with your prayers, shift the atmosphere with your words. Shift your home, hallelujah. Mm, God, hallelujah. Hey, to, to intercede for your family. Hey, God, do it for your namesake. Yeah, 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 yeah. Walk in the fullness of the blessing of the gospel. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Mm, yes, Lord. Mm, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. The ministry of reconciliation, uh, being able to bring things together. Hallelujah. Oh, God, being able to articulate the word for a person uh, that they might run after God. Hallelujah. Hey, God, take any fear from us. Take any doubt from us. That court cause shame. That kind of a In the mighty name of Jesus the Christ, I, I declare a stirring of the spirit. Oh, Right now, I say, oh God, hallelujah, consecrate, oh God, hallelujah, hey, hallelujah, oh, yes, oh, I bottled up your tears, saith the Lord, I bottled up your tears, I see it, hallelujah, hey, and the answers are coming, hallelujah, and the breakthrough is coming, hallelujah, and deliverance is coming, hallelujah, oh, and miracles are going to happen, hallelujah, Miracles, miracles, miracles that bring glory to God that your family will look at and say, how in the world did things shift for her, her daughter, her family? How, how did it shift like that? We expected them to stay bound, but the devil is a liar. We destroy the expectations of the devil. Shibaya. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
the Holy Ghost Hallelujah. on me. You are not Anointed abandoned. You are not abandoned. You're not rejected. Me. You're not abandoned. Oh, 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 Your Heavenly Father loves you. Like I love you a million trillion times more. Your Heavenly Father's in love with you. You're not overlooked. You're not someone who says you're not enough. God gave you life. Because he values you. Father, I know I turn now for a life-changing transformation in the mighty name of Jesus. Not only for her, but for her daughters. Not only for her, but for Monty. Lord God, I declare a decree right now that it begins here. It begins now. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Lord. Without trying to figure it out. The Lord said, I got you covered. I'm going to draw you close. Hallelujah. You are mine. You are mine. You are mine. You are mine. You are mine, you are mine says the Lord. You are mine. Hallelujah. Hey, God. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall Anointing. I declare your body. I declare your body whole. I need you to fall home. I declare the expectations of the scripture be made manifest in your physical body. Lord our God, hallelujah. Oh God, replenish her. Restore her. Hallelujah. Let oh God, give her longevity. Remove fear. Remove doubt. Hallelujah. I declare right now to her body. Oh God, that the blood of Jesus covers her. The blood of Jesus covers your joints. The blood of Jesus run through your joints. The blood of Jesus run through your body. The blood of Jesus run through your body. The blood of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey God, bring healing to you. Bring virtue. Bring life, uh, bring it, bring, 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 bring a stirring uh, right now, oh God, hallelujah, a passion of fire, oh God, within, hallelujah, hey, for sure, there's more, there's more, there's more, there's more, you will not settle, you will not settle, you will not settle, oh, for sure, you're established, but you will not settle. God said, I got more, and I'm going to give it to you and your oh, husband. Me. To your family, I'm going to give your family more of me. Yes. More of me, says the Lord. More of me, says the Lord. In Jesus' name. Jesus. The anointing destroys the yokes. We need it, we need it, we need it, we need it. The anointing Let takes the strongholds and brings them down. Power is authority. Ooh, let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me. Anointing fall on me. Come on, put them hands together. Give God the glory he Hallelujah. deserves. Hallelujah. From, from earth to heaven, we praise you. 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 I heard the Lord say, hallelujah, the first is last and the last is first. Hallelujah. The Lord had his hand on you from your mother's womb. No matter the witchcraft that came against you. No matter what the enemy tried to put in your bloodline. Oh, I stir up the gift. Hallelujah. By laying on of hands, I say in the name of Jesus. Oh, 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 come on, put your hands together. Give glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, come on, come on, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hey, anybody got a miracle this morning? Hey, anybody got a breakthrough this morning? Your sons are blessed, your daughters are blessed, your family is blessed. Blessed shall not be in the city, blessed shall not be in the field. Blessed shall be that basket in that storehouse. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you. We honor him. We give him praise. Who am I turning the mic over to? The Hicks family. Can we put our hands together for the Hicks family? 
You just let God use you. You ain't got to flow with whatever. You just let him use you. If he give you a word, let him use you. Because he's going to use y'all. This can't be broken. He's going to use y'all. Not just him. Not just her. He's going to use y'all. Period. Boom. No comma. No. <laughs> Let's put our hands together for the Higgs family. In Jesus' name. Good morning, good morning, good morning, FFCC family. Praise God. Yes. So do we have any first-time visitors this morning? All right. Well, since everyone's family, even if you were a visitor, you're a family. So welcome to First Fruits Community Church. We are giving honor to Pastor Belliger, First Lady Belliger, ministers, deacons. Amen. Passing it over to Minister Hicks. Preach! Good morning, y'all. Amen. Amen. We bless God for our pastor and First Lady. Amen. We thank God for each and every one of you. Uh, we have a busy week ahead of us this week. Amen. If God rises us up out of our bed, amen, we're going to remember that we are fasting on Wednesday yes, from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Amen. I admonish every one of you to fast if you can. Uh, this Wednesday, we will not have Bible study, am I correct? Because Pastor will be at Faith Covenant Cathedral located on 1301 Remount Road. Amen. So I'm asking each and every one of you that come out on Wednesday night and meet us there. Amen. As Pastor declares the word of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Um, as a reminder, Bible study will be canceled first fruits. Amen. Amen. On Thursday evening, following night, Pastor will be preaching at Heart to Heart International Church at 7 p.m. The church Amen. is located at 104 Burham at Burham Street in Moss Corner. Asking all that can press your way, please come out. Amen. 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 At Moss Corner. I'll let you. Uh, <laughs> calling, <laughs> calling all ladies. Amen. Amen. If you're a lady, raise your hand. Come on. Calling all ladies. Amen. Amen. Calling all ladies. Let's meet here at First Fruits on Friday, October 18th at 7 p.m. for ladies' intercessory prayer. Amen. Amen. Bible talks about the weeping and the wailing women. Amen. Y'all move God in a way that men can't. Amen. So y'all come. Let's pray for the house. Amen. Yes, Amen. The quarterly board meeting will take place this Saturday in the youth center from 2 to 4 p.m. Amen. Asking all board members to mark your calendar and plan to be in attendance. Next Sunday. Somebody said next Sunday. Next Sunday. Somebody said next Sunday. next Sunday. All right. October the 20th, 2024. We got a guest speaker. Amen. Yes, Elder Kenny Green. Amen. Yes, you will be with us. Amen. To bring a word at 11 a.m. Listen, I'm going to be the first partaker. I'm going to make sure I bring at least one person. Yes, sir. So I'm telling everybody in this house. Amen. To make sure. Listen. I got you. <laughs> no seats available. All right. So invite at least one person next week, next Sunday. Amen. Please at least try. Amen. If they don't come, it ain't your fault. You can't say you didn't ask. Amen. But treat, but invite somebody that you know will come. How about that? Amen. Glory be to God. So next Sunday at 11, we got a guest speaker. Amen. Oh, the Kenny Green. Amen. amen. Let's not forget about our about, about pastor appreciation this month. Amen. We all have obligations. Amen. Let's love on him. Amen. Because he does a hard work for us. Amen. amen. As the Lord give him strength. Amen. amen. Glory be to God. For our final announcement, as many of see, as many of you know, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Amen. Glory be to God. Approximately one in eight women in the United States will get breast cancer. That's a lot. During the lifetime and each year, more than 40,000 women die from breast cancer. To raise awareness, our Director of Health Sister Natasha Shepard, I don't believe she's here. Is she? Okay. She's Sister Devin. Has asked that everyone wear pink on the fourth Sunday this month. Amen. So on the fourth Sunday, everybody grab something a little pink. Fellas, too. You know, you can get a little shirt, a little sock, something. You know, um, on the fourth Sunday. Amen. Let's make sure that we keep Sister Wells in prayer. Amen. Also, Sister Williams, um, um, Deacon Williams' wife. Keep her in prayer. She has something going on this morning, so they're asking everybody to pray. Let's make, make sure we continue to pray for our family. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's give God the praise as Pastor come. Amen. Y'all, y'all also pray for us. But me and my family, we gotta jump on the road to Charlotte, North Carolina. So y'all pray for us as we go and come back. Amen. Thank you, baby. Pastor, it's on you. Amen. Come on. I don't church. know y'all. Whatever happened to him this week, something got him jacked up. This morning. That's that's what that's I'll what an impromptu <laughs> marriage retreat will do to your. 
make you act fool in the church for the Lord. Amen. Come on, put our hands together one more time. No, on a serious note, though, I, I um, y'all, y'all may or may not know these people, uh, but uh, Pastor Hodges and his wife had a marriage retreat, and um, they just uh, had a spur of the moment shift in their agenda, and and had some people that couldn't actually make it, and they invested a lot into that retreat, and so kind of last minute they reached out to us. It was Thursday, right? It was Thursday to reach out. Was it the same day or the day before? The day before that Wednesday, um, after service, and and they said, hey, listen, we got a, a retreat going on. Um, and can y'all come? And I was like, when? This weekend? Oh, gosh. Okay, when does it start? It uh, starts, you come on Thursday. And then, and then you stay through the weekend. I said, what? And I was thinking about a bunch of stuff. And I said, you know what? What do you think, baby? And she's like, yeah. I was like, well, let's go. Let's go. So we went down to the Isle of Palms and got into a nice big old Airbnb, y'all. Boy, I'll tell you, if you listen, it was so worth it, man. It was just, just the walking into a place where there's peace. Anybody feel the peace of God this morning? It's just like when you walk in this church. I mean, it was just peace. And um, the Hodges, we've known, like, in the sense of, like, you know, just cordially seeing them at events and, you know, praising, hey, praise the Lord, you know, all that good stuff. But we've never sat down with them. We've never talked with them. We, ne- we didn't know each other's backgrounds, nothing. So it was them with some other couple, some, a couple, uh, Dr. Slack from, um, and his wife from up in Tennessee, Chattanooga. They, they flew down. They did some sessions. But, um, I mean, we sat down with these people. And we talked, and it was as it, it was so easy. You ever, you ever sit down with people and you're trying to figure out how to build that relationship? And it's like hard. But no, we sat down. It's like we knew them forever. You know what I'm saying? And it just blessed our marriage. Amen. Where the where the where the married folk at? Where where the people that want to be married? That's good. That's good. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Amen. We thank God for the married and the singles. Oh, oh, okay, and that too, and that too. Who's married and want to stay married? <laughs> that's good, Erica. That's good. That's good. But uh, I know, no, we really did have a good time. Um, I got a couple things. You're just kind of doing things a little offset this morning. So my, I, um, I just got uh, somebody by the name of Sister Tiffany Johnson is going to come forward. Um, and, and Femi, you got that graphic you can pop up for me? Yeah, yeah. Look at your neighbor say white church, black church. Praise the Lord, everybody. Our pastor is also a poet. (laughs) He asked me to read something for everybody. It's called White Church, Black Church. In the town of Everhue, where their steeple bells chime, stood two little churches side by side in time. One painted white, the other deepest black, each facing the other front to back. White Church was filled with hymns so bold, with organs, pipe, and tails, ancient and old. Black church rang with gospel and blues, joyous clapping hands and soulful news. Come all ye faithful, the white church called, in voices like whispers of leaves that fall. Joyful noises sang church loud, loud and spirited, unashamedly proud. Each Sunday morning they'd gather apart, yet just as stones throw from each other's heart. Why do they stay away, each congregation wondered. Isn't our face fabric beautifully unencumbered? Then came the day when the skies did pour. Lightning split the sky with a thunderous roar. Both churches struck by the storm's fierce might found themselves without light in frightful plight. In the dark they gathered with candles aglow, white church, black church, no longer foes. They shared the light and together they prayed. Under one roof, their divisions allayed. From amazing grace, how sweet the sound, to this little light they found common ground. What a wonderful sight, they all did say, to worship as one come what may. Thus the tale of Abihue changed that night when two churches merged in the candlelight. Now every Sunday in the town of every hue, white church, black church just won't do. For there stands a church, neither black nor white, but painted with rainbows, Oh, what a sight. With doors wide open for all to come, united in worship, beating the same drum. Hey, man, she did a real good job. Thank you, sir. Hey, man, that was awesome. That was awesome. That was awesome. Just wanted you to hear a little something there. So hope that hope you like that. Hope you like that. More look at you and say more to come. More to come. 
Amen. Look here. Well, right now we're at the place where we're going to go ahead and bless the Lord with what? Our, our, that's what I'm about to do. Yeah, yeah. He's like, he's like, offering. Look at your name and say, offering. It's offering time in the house of the Lord. It's time to give our tithes. Maybe that works better when we whisper. It's time to give our tithes. You can stand at this time. You can give your tithes. Which is your tenth. You can give your offering. <laughs> no, I must stop. That's, that sounds kind of creepy, actually. You can, <laughs> it's offering. Come on, let's put our hands together. Just thank God that we're able to give. Amen. Hallelujah. He's blessed us with so much, man. It's such an awesome opportunity to be a blessing. Amen. You know, we give our tithes and our offerings. And uh, Brother Femi um, has the giving uh, on the screen where you can text FFCC to that number. Uh, I think most of y'all probably already know how to do that. So I'm not going to spend time and energy there or there's envelopes in front of you. But I do have a screen. I want to give an update to the Boosted Up campaign. I think we have that. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Brother Femi. Um, so we're doing this Boosted Up uh, end of the year fundraising campaign uh, to boost our finances in our church as we you know, matriculate through the rest of the year and head into 2025, God willing. And we want to just make sure that we have an extra boost financially that we can move forward and, and the things God wants us to do. Amen. And the church say amen. All right. So what I did ask is uh, like for the leaders and for the members to to, you know, outside in or I should say, in addition to your tithes and your offerings uh, to prayerfully consider uh, some, some type of at least a minimum monthly extra, like a boosted up offering um, when, when you're giving. And so um, at first we had like a leadership pledge drop down and a membership pledge. But we want to make it a little bit easier because there was people even outside of our church. That, that want to participate and have already participated in this. And so we just put in push pay when you when you get that text and you give online, um, there's a drop down that says boost it up, right? So so when you give that that extra boosted up offering, then you can put it under there. And so our goal is to raise 25,000. Somebody say 25,000. That's not $25, there's a comma right there with three zeros. So, so that is our goal that we will reach and most likely exceed, amen, amen. Come on church, amen, amen. We gonna do this thing, amen. And uh, I was talking to somebody this morning, I ain't going to say who, but he was talking to his brother. And he was like, look, man, we got a boosted up campaign going on. We got a fundraiser going on. And, uh, and so his brother was like, how much you need? He said, a thousand. And he said, well, you have not because you asked not. So we're going to believe, amen, that God's going to boost this church up. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. He's going to do what he wants. And so, so, so far we've raised $1,310 that's outside or in addition to the tithes. And the offerings towards our goal. Can we praise God for that? Come on. Come on, let's praise God for that. That's good. That's real good right there. That's real good. That's a blessing. That's a blessing. And uh, we thank the Lord that he's moved on your hearts to be able to do that. Amen. Uh, and so with your tithes, with your offerings uh, in hand, I want you to go ahead and uh, bow your head. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, we honor you. And we thank you today because you are the blessed sir. You are the one that just gives us joy and peace and love and sustenance and all things, hallelujah, that pertain to godliness and righteousness in you, oh God. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that this morning that every man, every woman, every child is already taken care of. Like they're not lacking because you are the shepherd uh, that we serve and we shall not lack. We shall not want. Father, if there is a, a, a lack in the house, Father, we ask that whether it be through us, through somebody, however you want to do it. Hey, hallelujah. You are the shepherd we serve that we, we don't have to worry about lacking anymore, God. And so, Father, fix that thing for that brother, that sister, that mother, that father, that this church, Lord, continue to bless as you have through the 10 plus years we've been in this building, oh God. Hallelujah. Father, anoint those tithe givers, anoint those offering givers, anoint those that are boosting it up, Father. Hallelujah. And give them the things they need and give them the desires of their hearts father i believe that even attached to this giving lord that somebody's faith is built up enough that they're going to receive healing hallelujah in the mighty name of jesus lord hallelujah we aren't doing gimmicks but lord we're just working our faith this morning and so oh, hallelujah we thank you for blessing the businesses that are owned in this house hallelujah we thank you for the entrepreneurs in this house father we thank you for those that had vision hallelujah in this house father those that are working hard day in and day out hallelujah in someone else's company oh god hallelujah they may be there but this time next year they may be to the top but however you want to do it and bless them oh god you do it because because you are the one that gives promotion, not from the east nor from the west, but from your hands alone. And we count this done in Jesus Christ's name. In the church, shout amen. Amen, amen, amen. You may be seated. 
We usually stand for the reading of the word, but I ain't got no word. <laughs> y'all ain't, y'all, huh? Wait, this church, what do you mean? Pastor? I ain't got no word. What do you got then? God said, give them an experience this morning. Create an environment where they can have an experience. Hallelujah. So what happened this morning, Pastor? Yes. Thank you, Sister Lynette. Somebody shot experience. It wasn't so much the promise of the Holy Ghost, amen, and the expectation of it, amen, that was prophesied in a word, but it was actually the manifestation of it, which was an experience. Because on the day of Pentecost, right, they were all gathered like we're gathered this morning, amen? And, and But they didn't gather just to gather. They gathered with expectation for what? Experience. They expected an, an experience. They didn't know what it was going to be. They didn't know if the Holy Ghost was going to walk up on them. <laughs> they, they, they didn't know, but they knew there was a promise. I want to remind you this morning that God has given you and us a promise this morning. Promises, but we have, we have a promise this morning that we will receive the experience of what? The Holy Ghost, y'all. Hallelujah. Yeah, I believe the Lord has shifted us into a season where we got to get out of the normal way of doing things. We, we got to just stop doing stuff normal. I was talking to some young people earlier um, last week and I was telling them, I was like, listen, you saw what God did Sunday. Uh, you know, God's going to do some things that ain't normal anymore because you know what happens with normal? Come. We get comfortable. Let me say it real loud. We get comfortable. Okay, so when it's normal, you're comfortable. Amen. Get up. Stand up real quick. Real quick. I saw. <laughs> She's like, real quick. Okay, we'll see, Pastor. All right. All right, get your belongings. Uh-huh. And move to a different row and sit beside somebody different. Not your family. Your family can't go with you. We all family. So find somebody different and sit next to them. Yep, yep, that means everybody, except we do need to keep the musicians over here. We love you, man. The anointing rich over here. I trust me. Believe me, it is. I appreciate y'all. <laughs> y'all, y'all. Oh, yeah, you can get on the organ, and he can play the drum. No, it's, it's, yeah. Huh? No, you can't sit next to your sisters and brothers, like, biologically. Find somebody. Find somebody. Sit next. Yeah, you can't sit next to your brothers and your sisters. You got to sit next to somebody that ain't in your same household, or, or, or you never visited their house. You got to find somebody you ain't never sit somewhere differently and why do everybody said somebody we fill this front row no preachers can sit on the front row no ministers can sit on the front row no deacons can sit on the front row thank you so much so 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 we got one two <laughs> thank you i appreciate you one two three four five five yeah yeah come fill this front row fill this front row can, can y'all do that can y'all like the four of you yes thank you i appreciate your volunteerism oh oh, oh shama hallelujah Come, come on, come on. I'm going to move this out of the way because we got look, Mike and you don't get to see here no more. <laughs> I got I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. We got some people coming up here. Yeah. Thank, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Though. Really, Girl, you know, you the bomb. You know, you bomb. You too. You too. And there was one more person I knew. I, like what, bro? What? Do what? Uh, oh, you want to sit on? No, I'm talking about you, man. <laughs> you got a seat right here. Mm -hmm. We got one, two, three. So we need three more people. Three more people up front. Thank you, Sister Kristen. Oh, I see Brother Sean coming up front. Come on, brother. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Look, you stand up. That's it. You got to come. Oh, we got, we got one. See, we got one. There you go. Oh, okay. He won his daddy. We're going to make an exception. But he's like, I don't know who this person is. I, I need my experience with my daddy sitting next to me. But we do have another, we do have one more seat here. So there we go, Sister Mother Ancrum. Thank you, bless you. Oh, she moved up a row. Okay, all right, let me find out. There we go, Cam. Who, who gonna fill this seat right here? I'm frozen, I can't move. I ain't moving till somebody sit, fill the seat. Thank you. Oh, look at you with your red, your, that, that holy red. That, I'm covered in the blood red. You got royal blue on. Listen, man, listen. God wants different. 
in our lives. God doesn't want you, watch this, to have the same experience every Sunday, okay? And while, yes, we have structure here, but we need different experiences here. We don't need to do things that we are so used to doing. I was saying we've been doing this for 10 years, Sundays, Wednesdays, everybody kind of, you know, when you get to church, you find a little comfortable little seat, this is your spot now. When you come in, somebody else in, you'll be like, mm, you just be smiling. You know you sitting in my chair, but you don't say that because you care about the person, but you're like, mm, okay, I'll let them sit in my anointing today. You know what I mean? Yeah. You guilty? You guess she guilty? She guilty? I'm guilty. Get out of my seat. She be saying in the spirit. Yeah. <laughs> but no, it's like really important for us to have an experience with God. And to have an experience with God, we got to we got to do the same thing in our heart and our mind. Like when we come to church, not to expect the same thing. Because we say come with expectation. But a lot of times people expect the same thing. We can't expect the same thing. All I'm doing this morning is setting it up for next Sunday. Okay? That's what I'm doing this morning. I've tricked y'all. I ain't preaching this morning. I'm not. You can be like, wait, hold on, Pastor. I know you're going to preach. No, I'm not. I'm not preaching this morning. Y'all already got a word. Y'all got a word. Oh, Lord, you're awesome. That's a word. Mm, was it a word? All oh, the glory. Come on, that's a word. Hallelujah. It's so easy. See what I'm saying? Like to kind of get comfortable with two songs from the praise team and then let's move to morning announcements. But look, listen, oh, Lord, you're awesome. How awesome is he? Hallelujah. Oh, does he get all the glory? Hallelujah. All the time. The Bible says the earth is filled with his glory. Amen. And we are made of earth. And so the glory belongs to him and it's in us. And so if it's in us, we got to give it to him, right? Look, there's, there was a whole message in just that one song. That was Brother Antoine Cooks that wrote that, right? Yeah, we, we give him props. Yeah, that's my best friend, man. We're, not best. We're good friends. Look at your neighbor and say experience. Now, now, we're, we're, we're about done. Two, two more things. So, don't go home today expecting the same. Like, 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 don't go home and expect the same routine. And you can't sit around, though, and just expect for something to change. You have to do that. You're the one that's going to shift the experience. You're the one that's going to walk through your door and your husband's following. You're going to just turn around and just kiss him. <laughs> Minister Tucker, stay still. I saw you about to run, boy. I, about to, I, wasn't even, I wasn't even looking at him. Like, like, like husbands, you're going to be walking through. and you're, You know, you usually go to that one spot. You sit down on a Sunday morning when you're done with church. You're watching a game. But instead of that, you're going to do something special with your wife. And it only take money to do something special with your wife. Okay, keep it PG, man. Well, you, I mean, you know, you know. Like, I, I, I ain't gonna lie, I'm a little tired, but I got some good rest. I, I, I did something different this morning. That's funny. I, I didn't get here till what time? About, about 10. I don't never get here that late. That's late. So if you hear, <laughs> you late if you know. I don't never get here that late. I'm always here like eight o'clock something like that. I woke up this morning. I was like, I'm going back to sleep. The church is fine. Everything fine here. Everything and it was. I came here. I, I scared Brother Fred for a second because instead of going through the front door, I came through the back. I used my key and listen. His head popped like that. And I was like, please, hands up. Don't don't do it, brother. I'm I'm, I'm the pastor. Please don't hurt me. He just kind of chuckled, laughed. But we, we need experiences from God. And the reason why I'm getting you thinking differently this morning is when you go home, like ask God to do something differently, but then be that change agent. Like make it happen. Like go home and like maybe grab hands to whoever, if you're single, if you're by yourself, you go home to your apartment, whatever. Like grab hands with Jesus and say, thank you for the, for the word, for the experience this morning. I want the same type of experience here in my home. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 like maybe sit down with your kids and I'm gonna do something. Like, I'm going fishing after church today. That's what I'm doing. Hey Amen. I'm gonna I'm give my son an experience, and probably my in in, in Zion, and you know I'm just gonna we're gonna go fish and catch some catfish, you know, just have a good time, you know, and, and and maybe I'll tell them what I thought I was gonna preach this morning. Like I was gonna I was gonna preach a message called Fresh Fish, 
One, because I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> y'all, y'all like fish? Look at your neighbor and say, fish. Fresh fish, because I was going to talk about catching souls and all that good stuff. But I think I'm going to have that message out by the pond today. We're going to go catch some real fresh fish. I ain't going to eat them, though. I'm going to throw them back, because I don't eat no fish out no pond. Hallelujah. But, but all right, everybody stand. We're, we're almost done. Amen. Let's come on. We don't we had altar call. Thank you for putting that flyer up, too. That's where I'm preaching Wednesday. Please, 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 please. Experience. Somebody shout experience. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to go to Apostle Lenar King's Church this Wednesday. I want you to please come. We'll send out the flyer. Please, please, please press your way. We don't really necessarily have to meet here and get there. Um, they're, they're right there in North Charleston. So the address is on the flyer and, and you can meet us there. And please, please, there's nothing better when I look down and I see y'all when I'm preaching. I, I just it does my heart good. Make me want to holler a little bit. All right. And so we, we want to go to Apostle King's Church because this is 28th uh, church anniversary. But we want God to give an experience there amen and then the following day that thursday we're gonna i haven't gotten a flyer yet but we're gonna send out the flyer or the information so you can also just drive right down to monk's corner it's not far at all to go to bishop jerome taylor's church for their anniversary and, and we're gonna have what there an experience all right can y'all can y'all sacrifice and make that time to come can y'all do that can you can y'all do that like like as, as long as you're not tied up in something you have to do like work or something i get it but if you if you are open don't sit home please like please do something different come all right and pack the house out man because it's going to be really 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 good all right i know somebody's joining the church this morning i know at least one person like you'll be like hold on i thought they were a part of this church already well they have been but but they're gonna like make it official so come on up hadassah come on let's put our hands together I love this young woman of God. First lady, come on, come on up. We were talking last last week about some things. Uh, I think it was after Wednesday night. And, and then I just, I never ask, like I very seldom ask somebody, are you going to join this church? Like I don't do that. Because I don't ever want somebody forced in joining a church, right? But sometimes I do be prompted and I'll be like, you, you, like what did I say? I said like, you said, uh, you're not a member yet. You need to join this church. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like your pastor <laughs> and she's like and, but they were like oh no oh that's confirmation because they was so i guess they was having con yeah so i have a church back in new york like i'm in the military so i'm just stationed here so where i lived in new york i have a church there so i'm like you know what i don't know how this really officially works i guess <laughs> and then i was like no, i'm just gonna join the church and last week sunday i was about to but i was like in the middle and i didn't want to be like oh, excuse me excuse me by the time i was about to say excuse me it, he already changed the subject so i was like okay next week <laughs> <laughs> so can we put our hands together for sister hadassah i call her esther that's that's what hadassah means thank you for trusting the lord and trusting us to be pastors and leaders and and, and guides in your life to help you Walk into your purpose, amen. Now, I also want to open up the door if there's anybody else that's thinking the same thing. You may be seated at the house, so that's perfect. If there's anybody else that said, hey, you know, I need, I need to make First Fruits Community Church my church home because it's been an experience already. Oh, okay, you're already, that's right. Just because you might, I'll just make, you join the church, right? Oh, we got, oh, Sister Erica. Look at Sister Erica. Come here, put our hands here. Wait, whoa, Erica. Okay, she don't like being the center of attention, so I'm just gonna stand like this. You, you go back down and sit down. We love you. Go back to down. Oh, uh, are you joining the church? No way! Come on, come on up here. Come on up here with your pretty self. So she's so pretty, ain't she? Oh my lord, such a wonderful woman, and she's very special to somebody I know, Deacon Chisholm, because this is Deacon Chisholm's sister. Yeah. This your sister, right, D? Yeah, he said, yep, that's my sister. Oh, can you just tell everybody your name so they know your name? Vermel Chisholm. Vermel Chisholm. Can we put our hands together? Well, we done had three people join the church this morning. It, it, it's not just about joining a church. It's like becoming a part of a family. Like, this is a home. You know, this is a place where you can, where you can connect, you know, you can grow, all of those things. And, and I'm, why, why do you want to join this church? Why, why have you chosen this? Your compass led you there. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. Bar Oh, that's that. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's it. So yeah. Um, I wanted to join after visiting, oh. and um, with Margaret and Bernard, that's my uh, sister-in-law and my brother, yeah. and to listen to them, yeah. and because you know he calls me two times a day. 
I, I, I'm so, only two times a day he calls you. Oh, I'm, he, she don't. And so, so you said your brother is like just amazing. Okay. And after my first visit, I, I was so moved. Wow. I, you feel it. It, it, it. You can feel it. And you can Thank feel Jesus. the love there and here. Wow. I feel like I'm home. Oh. And I like freedom of worship. Yes. Oh, that's good. That's yeah. good. That's good. Can we put our hands together for Sister Chisholm, Lady Chisholm? We love you so much. We appreciate you. We really do. Ain't that good? First Lady, what you got to say? Because you fresh off a whole marriage retreat. You see, a, you fresh off a marriage retreat. Beautiful. You are? You are? Anything? She just said, I'm full. I'm full. She had, she had some experiences. Amen. Hallelujah. But listen, all right, well, I think that's everything said and done. So with heads bowed, Father, we thank you this morning that you're so beautiful to us, Lord. You love us the way you love us. You've given us, hallelujah, so many blessings, Lord. And I think, Father, the biggest blessings of all uh, outside of just your presence is all of these amazing souls, all these people that are here this morning, Lord. We just we just ask that you would continue to bless us and keep us and watch over us, Lord. We, we again lift up Sister Devin's name in your presence, and we just ask, Lord, let thy will be made manifest even now, O God. I bless Sister Ava, Lord God, bless her sons, Lord, even now, Jesus. Even a mom, oh God, hallelujah. We thank you this morning, God, because all is well, all is well. Lord, as we leave this place, Lord, let us walk into experiences that you have orchestrated. Lord God, demonstrate your presence and love in our lives in every aspect, not just here at church, Lord, but in our homes, on our jobs, wherever we may be. And use us even to create experiences for others while we're out there. Lord God, that we might be able to draw them with your loving kindness, oh God. And we will forever give your name glory and honor and praise forevermore.